Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about the best toys you should get for your lab puppy. So stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I've dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. Just so you know, everything I'm gonna talk about today is going to be in my Amazon affiliate store, and I'll link to that in the description below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first toy that I I am going to recommend is actually more than just one. It's a variety of chew toys. So you wanna make sure you have a variety of textures for your teething puppy. I personally like to have some sort of wood toy, a nylabone, something a little bit softer, a rope toy, and an antler. What I like to do is if my pup starts to chew on my wooden table, then I'll redirect them to that wood so they have a similar texture to redirect to. The next toy you'll want to get is a snuff Mat. I absolutely love snuffle mats and I actually feed my dogs with the snuffle mats every day. Not only will this slow down your pup's eating, which can cost you an emergency visit to the vet, it will allow them to use their brain and nose as they have to find the food and the goodies in the snuffle mat. The great thing about the snuffle mat is you can also DIY it. There's a ton of DIY directions on Pinterest, but if you're lazy like me, then you'll want to buy on Amazon and it'll arrive at your house if you have Prime in two days. Now another toy you 100% want to pick up is a Kong with some pup-friendly peanut butter. You're gonna freeze the peanut butter inside the Kong and it's a great way to keep them occupied and once again use their mind. My favorite brand of peanut butter for dogs is Bark Bistro Peanut Butter. It's super clean and they have fun flavors like blueberry, pumpkin, and I'm not gonna lie, I've tried the peanut butter before and I actually ate most of it, so <laughs> definitely pick some up for yourself as well. Now you can also buy regular peanut butter, but just make sure that there is no xylitol in it, which is poisonous to dog, and you'll just want to watch out for too much sugar or too much salt in the peanut butter. Palm oil is another common ingredient in human peanut butter, and while it's fine for them to have in small quantities, usually you'll want to just watch out for them eating too much as it can cause issues. For me, I just like to play on the safe side. I'll either, like I said, buy the Bark Beasters peanut butter, or I'll go to Whole Foods and buy the fresh ground peanut butter with no salt, just so I know exactly what's going into the peanut butter. Last but not least, you'll definitely want a flirt pole. Flirt poles are a fun way to teach your pup impulse control. I have videos coming soon on my YouTube channel on fun flirt pole exercises, so be sure to look out for that. But just so you know, a flirt pole is basically a big cat toy. It's a stick with a string and a toy at the end, and a great way to teach your pup impulse control is asking for a sit and stay before you start playing with the flirt pole and then teaching them a solid drop it cue so that they learn to drop the flirt pole and you can have a controlled game of fun. Now one more thing I want to mention, now this isn't technically a toy, but you'll want to buy some chews for your pup as well, so edible chews. Chews can keep your pup's mind busy and also give you some peace and quiet for a little bit while you have your Zoom conference calls. If your pup is very young, just be sure that you're giving them an age appropriate chew. So read the labels, it'll let you know how old your pup has to be to enjoy that chew. Once again, my favorite chews are in my Amazon affiliate store, so be sure to check that out. All right, that's it for today, everyone. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below with the word helpful. If you found this video helpful, it helps out my channel a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.